Hi, I wanted to have a little discussion about um, the use of refurbished uh, 18650 cells. So I got those cells from uh, old batteries, bigger batteries, which were composed of uh, I think 12 of those cells. And uh, those batteries were faulty for the simple reason that uh, in the battery one single of those cells were uh, faulty. Um, this can happen for uh, many reasons. One of the reasons could be bad chemistry, cheap battery. Another reason could be bad uh, battery monitoring system, bad BMS. So when you have a battery, um, you don't only have some cells tied together, there's actually a um, PCB board, some electronics that will ensure that the the battery pack is um, not overcharged, not over discharged, and not short circuited in short. So here we have a battery pack with a single cell. You can see that um, the end of the cell are not exposed, that we have a nice little convenient connector to plug the battery pack to our PCB. And we also have um, uh, a BMS that's uh, protected under this wrapping. And it is exactly what the BMS do here, protecting this cell, this single cell, from overcharging, discharging, and short circuiting. So uh, it happens very often um, with older battery pack that one cell uh, get unbalanced over time. So if you don't know what is an unbalanced cell, basically each cell has um, is unique in terms of its behavior to, to charging and discharging um, because it's chemistry at the end and um, over time after so many discharge and charge uh, sometimes the imbalance is so much that uh, the cell cannot be charged uh, and uh, you, you will notice that on those cells uh, and it's a bit damaged because those cells, I got them since years, I wrote down the capacity uh, of them, for each of them. Um, so usually, and you see that it's not always uh, the same amount, uh, it's slightly different, not by a lot usually, but it shouldn't be at least, but sometimes the small difference over time and maybe a defect in the cell makes that over time uh, the battery pack with multiple of those cells will fail eventually. So what I did with the ba those battery packs is that um, I tore them apart, uh, I removed and uh, threw away the PCB and I only kept the cell while, while tearing them apart. Uh, you have um, a metal part that you can pull out. When you pull it out, you need to make sure that you're not just circuiting the cell. Uh, here you have a low change a low chance of, of creating a short circuit. Uh, on the other hand here, uh, just be aware that anything that's below this black part is actually uh, the minus of the cell. This is a plus and the minus goes from here to all around here. So whatever you touch over this cell here is minus and here's the plus. That's why there's this prot protective wrapping and that's why there's this black cardboard part. Um, I think I have one cell which is damaged. So you want to avoid having any cell damaged like this uh, with um, some of the minus exposed. So this one I will uh, wrap it. So what I did is, uh, as I said, you can rewrap those cells. It's very cheap. So in order to rewrap it, it's easy. You, you just uh, take away uh, this plastic, making sure you don't uh, short circuit anything and uh, you replace it with a brand new wrapping and a brand new uh, cardboard piece and uh, this cardboard piece and wrapping can be found and bought for like $3 for uh, 100 cells delivered to your door. So it, it's very cheap, uh, no excuse not to do that. Then uh, to remove this um, metallic part that is spot soldered on the cell uh, it's actually also very easy. You just need to, to have um, some uh, precision pliers and cutters and you can do it very easily. Just make sure again not to short circuit anything or you will, have a, you will have a bad time. It's actually dangerous. You could create a fire. So 
um, my point is uh, that we every year uh, throw away uh, I'm guessing 100,000 of battery packs if not millions and that could be repurposed. Uh, so why would I repurpose those cells? So the first reason is to make uh, a portable battery pack out of it and uh, I have this product here that I very much like and also dislike. So this product um, is actually a battery pack that's composed. So I can turn it on here and you see that you have the status of each cell because this battery pack um, will discharge and charge uh, the cells individually uh, meaning uh, that it's, it's kind of perfectly safe uh, it's the best uh, you can think of in terms of battery pack having a battery pack that charge and discharge cells individually what why I said I don't like it so much because it's old, it's very old design. Uh, you see that uh, we have a um, lightning connector and micro USB connector, and um, it doesn't support any type of uh, fast charging, and uh, it's not up to date at all. It works, I like it, it's very affordable. It's very cheaply made, but at the end, I'm okay. I can, uh, it's uh, sturdy enough, I, I used it for years. Um, but Tomo, this brand, so this product is a Tomo, Tomo T4. Uh, so Tomo actually um, doesn't produce any better uh, power pack. Uh, I mean, um, and it's very unfortunate because uh, I think this kind of product should be very popular um, for DIYers or for uh, nerds like me that uh, like to have a. Uh, 18650 um, all over the place so <clears throat> about uh, 18650 so you need to have a way to charge them so this would be a reliable reliable way to charge it but i would recommend uh, you to get um, this kind of charger uh, and this is the brand lito kala so don't be freaked out by the brand it's actually um, very nice uh, manufacturer of uh, battery chargers. Um, I owned many of the, their products and uh, they never failed. So I trust them. Um, and this specific charger is very affordable and it's very good for the price. You will see that you can charge a lot of uh, battery cells, any match, any CD, double A, triple A, and any type of uh, lithium ion. Um, batteries like the one I have here so um, the charger is very easy to operate uh, you just need to plug it with type C so as you can see it's a bit more modern uh, I will just show you very quickly how it works so um, uh, let's grab only two cells so there's um, it's split it between two channels one two and two three four so you see that you can select uh, whatever cell you want one two so three four will not make anything because there's no cells here but it's the same so let's say I want uh, cell one I want to change uh, the current so now I can press current and change the speed of charging or it could be discharging because I can also press mod and now I can change charge, discharge, test so test will charge and discharge the cell and tell you uh, how much uh, milliamps per hour the cell uh, contains and I can also um, discharge them or charge them until a specific voltage that's uh, that's uh, for storage. I think it's something like uh, 3 volts or something. I mean, I don't know for sure, but if you want to store them for a long term and not have them charged, because having storing them charged fully will actually is not very recommended. Um, yeah, and so very easy to operate. Um, and the neat thing with that charger is that you can even use it as a power bank so uh, of course same it's not perfect doesn't doesn't support any 
uh, fast charging uh, standard but you see that uh, should be working at least oh yeah you need to like put a cell here to enable like the, the charger USB and you see it's charging already so yeah this product I think is very nice to have uh, so my point is um, those cells instead of throwing them away you just spend a few bucks you buy this uh, vinyl layer cardboard cardboard part for like uh, three dollars in China and um, just having them stored in um, in a weatherproof and a sealed container makes the cell pretty safe to store and in case you ever need to use those cells in an emergency situation or if you just like uh, have a, a cheap battery pack to travel that you can trust that will not catch fire because you know you know the state of the cells you are putting in that charger well you can and it's very affordable so this is my setup and um, I would love to find a product that actually does the same thing as this charger uh, at this power bank but does it better with uh, higher amps as output and uh, with uh, more capacity because here it's only four cells so nowadays the trend with battery packs is having battery packs with uh, lipo batteries inside it's actually not so bad if it's a single cell lipo but the problem is it can still be damaged and um, you you will have to throw away the whole electronics in case uh, the lipo phase at some point while here if the if the cells are too old i can replace the cell and keep using that uh, if i were to have a, a big amount of those cells stored i would be able to power my phone over the long term using this kind of device without having any knowledge in electronics basically um, and in case of emergency you would be thankful to not have a single battery pack that you can deplete in a, in a few days but instead have a whole supply supply of those 18650 so um, if you if you are a bit handy actually you can you can build bigger battery packs with those cells uh, using some some weird uh, PCB from China but then it becomes um, it can become a fire hazard some people do it uh, so that they can have alternatives to power walls I wouldn't recommend that uh, I would I would rather trust like uh, trust this kind of cells to be powered to be used for uh, smaller battery packs because if you want to have um, a reliable high power battery pack i would recommend looking at um, and it's trendy you know what is looking at uh, life before battery packs which are um, better suited for long stem storage and higher output power um, and it's also cheaper uh, and less dangerous so yeah uh, that was my two cents on those uh, refurbished 18650 hope you like it bye